Greetings, all you phenomenal human beings who are worthy of love. Segoli Nariolibus, Skanagoga, Skanago means greetings. Are you with peace? I am with peace in Oneida. It is a great day for a great day. I am extremely grateful for each and every one of you people as we make our way out here to week 10 for our class here in American Indian philosophy. It has been a pleasure to learn with each and every one of you here at Cal State Pavangna, aka the great gathering place for the Gabriela Tongva people, also known as Cal State Long Beach. Let's keep on keeping on. As a reminder, if you're missing any of the previous week's discussions, it's not too late to go ahead and do those. Thank you for each and every one of you in creating community in the group me. It's truly an honor to learn alongside each and every one of you. I cannot tell you how much I look forward to that. Uh, that does not feel like work or it just feels like this uh, experiential, spiritual experience, feeling like we are um, spiritual beings on a human journey together, just really appreciating and enjoying the time with each and every one of you. Let us continue on here, taking a look at some of the videos that we're watching for this week. Uh, we're continuing on with Winona LaDuke here, looking at grassroots strategy for mitigating climate change. Uh, taking a global perspective, Winona LaDuke's pushback on the Dakota Access and Key Stone XL pipelines being a declaration of war, um, considering the environmental damage, on rediscovering food sovereignty, on water and food justice, how a people start to liberate themselves, moving toward a multicultural democracy, growing hemp on a heritage farm for a sustainable future, language of the empire, taking action against the Line 5 in those Line 5 hearings, and the idea of fighting oil pipelines. So continue to learn from Winona LaDuke, our two-time vice presidential candidate, and just more than that, just a human being, a phenomenal human being. I've had the chance to meet at the sacred site of Pavangna as well, too. Um, and just really a great presence as a leader. Um, so I appreciate the time being able to learn from Winona and from each and every one of you as well, too. No one more you were than you, I've been told. So keep being you. We're going to continue on uh, for our readings here. We're looking at how it is. And the, this section here is what is the world? And as a reminder, your uh, action items this week are three to seven sentences in the discussion board after watching all the films and doing the reading. One to three sentences in the talking circle groups uh, are peacemaking circle. Um, and then we have a spring break for next week. For this week for your our, our group me, it's going to be this idea of, I want you all to take this exercise um, that from anywhere from five seconds to 15 minutes or more, I want you all to start your day and end your day with either a meditation, a moment of silence, a prayer, but something just to kind of remain gathered. And again, it could be anywhere just from five seconds to anywhere from 15 minutes and then report back on that and talking about what that experience is like. I know we've heard from some people, this is something that they already do on a routine basis. This is something that I had, had done in the past and so a practice I'd like to get back into as well too. So just to talk about what that what that experiential learning is like for you all at a physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual level. So uh, I appreciate you that whatever you are believing in, whoever you are, I believe that there's, again, no one more you are than you. In the words of Professor Georgiana Sanchez, uh, a Shumash and Tahona Owatam leader talking about the idea, saying, am I supposed to be who I'm supposed to be? She would say, of course you are because you're you. And say, am I supposed to be where I'm supposed to be? And she would say, of course you are because you're here. So I appreciate you for being here. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And thanks for that. So with that being said, I want to say yawanko gunalunkwa nugiwa means thank you. I love you. Until next time in Oneida, you, yes, you, you're a human being who is worthy of love. Invitation, not an obligation. Sitting up nice and tall here, taking the deepest breath of love you've had all day as we breathe in some love. Exhale some love. I love you. If nobody loves you, Dr. Reed loves you. You're worthy of love, not because I tell you, just because I believe you inherently are. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. Take care and thank you so much.